Here are top 7 things you can do with generative fill in Photoshop beta. First one is close-up images that get upscaled with generative fill. As you can see in this example, it's incomplete because it has these lines included, but you can clean them up super fast with a new remove tool. I also tried this with models. I typed it as a prompt, beautiful model posing. And after a couple of attempts, I got to a successful result. And of course it needs to be retouched a little bit. Next, we got a lizard. Also make sure to include some prompts. For example, lizard in this situation. I also tried with interiors, worked really good it filled up the full space tip number two you also can do really cool patterns for example i tried out with flowers and it worked fantastically and if you want to replicate the pattern make sure to select 50 percent of the flower so this way it's going to replicate perfectly the pattern also i tried with this flower it worked great and then i also tried with a single flower and it gave me pretty insane results they're not perfect yet but it's a work in progress tip number three customizing models for example, in this situation, I added suits or beard and I also added some sunglasses and it turned out great. Usually the sunglasses look really bad, but in this situation, it turned out perfect. You can edit the muscle, make it buffer. And I also tried to make the full body eventually super jacked. And as you can see, it turned out perfect. You can manipulate facial expressions. I also switched the hair. I think I made him more attractive than how it was before. Tip number four, changing up the background image. For example, if you got a model posing somewhere in the nature, you can switch up the background really easily. For example, in this case, I teleported the sky on the beach next to some cocktail bars and it looks pretty good. It's not 100%, but overall it's great. And you also can clean it up to make it perfect. Tip number five, you also can change up the interior design of a room if you want. I switched up the paintings and I also selected a bigger area of the lamp and as you can see it's replacing with all sort of bad examples. And I did try to select the lamp in a specific way. So this way it actually gives me the right lamps I wanted. And for example, if you got an interior perfectly from the front, the AI is going to have an easy job replacing the elements. Tip number six, I also tried to generate image on a blank canvas. Now it did some pretty okay example. They are not the best. They are not mid journey material, but take that in mind. They are using images from Adobe stock. So it's really limited, but hey, this is the first AI version. So think about when they're going to launch the generative fill officially, it's going to be even better. And tip number seven, not but least, we got letters and you can see here, I tried to generate some typo and it worked pretty good. It's a little bit difficult to generate letters. It's not so advanced, but uh, it can do some pretty decent job. So these are all the seven tips with the generative fill. Hope this helped and thanks for watching.